Shalom, today is December 2nd and it's day 423 of the war in Israel and the Israelis are reading today about seniors in the IDF saying that the time has come Hivshilu hatnaim for Iskat Khatufim. Iskat Khatufim is a hostage deal. In this photograph down here we see Maya Regev and her brother Itai that were hostages in Gaza and they were released after 50 days and they're saying we are not uh, complete until all of the hostages come home. They have a very good friend still in Gaza, his name is Omer Shem Tov, that they're thinking about every day. Until everyone comes back, this story will not be behind us. I'm going to open up the newspaper and read, well let's look at the cartoon, here is Trump. Here is Bibi Netanyahu. Bibi is um, cooking a dish with the word iska on it, deal, hostage deal. Trump is waiting with his bowl and spoon and saying assertively, I'm expecting that this dish will be ready, this deal will be ready until January 20, 20th, his inauguration. The main article is a very large and informative article about the uh, fighting routine Shigrat Lechima, Baretsua, and the Gaza Strip. And it reads, Im Siyuma Milchama Batsafon, with the ending of the war in the north, at least for 60 days. And the IDF, they're preparing for a long lasting or year long of uh, fighting in the Gaza Strip in every scenario of a hostage deal. We see a satellite image of the Gaza Strip. Here's the border with the Mediterranean Sea. Here is with Egypt, and all of this is the border with Israel. And this article is explaining, is explaining exactly about the three main IDF divisions that have been working uh, in, in the Gaza Strip. It is different than even a couple months ago that was more, um, more furious, more stressful. It is calmer now, but in some areas it is still very stressful. The largest division is called the Aza Division. It's an IDF division, but it's called the Aza Division because it's in charge of the Gaza Strip. And it is taking care of all the buffer zone that has been enlarged to two, three kilometers on the Gazan side. And here it is, here's the buffer zone that is going to create some sort of calm um, uh, for the Israelis, on, uh, the Israelis uh, sitting in, living in the Gaza envelope. The other division is in charge of the Philadelphia corridor. Uh, that has been enlarged too. It took down, the division has flattened it out. It has, it has ruined houses and buildings that were used for Hamas and would threaten the soldiers, the IDF soldiers there. Another division is taking care of the Netzarim corridor that has been enlarged as well. That division is careful with the Nusirat area where Hamas is still there, lots of uh, Gaza civilians and the IDF thinks that many hostages are in that area. So that is uh, somewhat untouched, being very, very cautious and careful. And it reads here that one of the main characteristics of the fighting in the north of Gaza, in Jabalia, is that the experienced IDF forces are doing more with less soldiers. Two and a half companies with some aerial assistance were enough for the Givati unit to assassinate last week over 40 terrorists and to arrest 100 more in a large complex there just within three hours. But with saying that, Hamas is not giving up. Hamas lo mevatel, meaning Hamas does, is not giving up. And it's succeeding to follow like a tail, follows a dog. It follows the forces. It killed in the last couple of months 30 IDF soldiers, one of them. That, that is one in every two uh, days. And one of them was Ahsan Daksa that we reported about, the head of one of the, the, the commander of one of the divisions. This article also states that 75% of the Israeli citizens have returned to their homes in the Gaza envelope, but not to the hard-hit kibbutzes that were very close, like Nachal Oz and Kfar Aza and Ativa Asara, where the houses are still destroyed. It will take a lot of time to, to um, rebuild and also to give back the sense of security to those citizens that were um, such, a, such a horrifying attack. So again, this is going to be some sort of routine um, of fighting in the Gaza Strip, it says here, for years, um, hoping that we'll be able to bring back the 101 hostages that are in this part of the land, so close to Israel, yet so far. Israel is at war, and it says, despite 
the Hafsakat Ish, despite the ceasefire, 16,000 students will continue to learn in alternative facilities in the north. But it reads, 150,000 students returned to schools yesterday in the north and were received uh, in a, they were received in a festive way um, by the educational teams and the teachers. Tchusha shel achad v'September. The feeling is of uh, the sense. The, the feeling is of the September first. The students say. But with that, again, 16,000 students need to study in alternative facilities. It's not their home. It's not their school. And their feelings are mixed. It says tchushot me'oravot. There is a lot more work to do. And this uh, sweet student, Shani, she says, She says, I really hope that we'll be able to end the year, the school year, as we should. Their routine has um, really been shaken up and you can hear from them that they're not sure that this calm and peace will last until the end of the year. In this photograph, we see uh, students returning to their school in Akko, yesterday, just yesterday, and it really feels like uh, September 1st, which is the first day of the year, uh, the school year in Israel. And down here, more about the calm with Lebanon, it reads, Hatsarfati mazhirim, the French are warning, Hasdara belevanon tikros, Hasdara, the calm in Lebanon is going to crash. The French don't see the calm lasting as planned. The next headline, Mitkarvim leiska. Mitkarvim means drawing near, Leiska to a deal for the, re for the release of the hostages. In the picture we see um, Israeli soldiers in Gaza with, uh, under rain in winter condi conditions. And it reads, Bchirim Betzal, seniors in the IDF, are recognizing a good time for a deal to release the hostages and they're suggesting to the government to pause the war temporarily in Gaza in order that we can bring back our hostages. Even though some of these seniors in the um, security forces were not pleased with the ceasefire in Lebanon, they thought it was a mistake, they do recognize it as an opportunity to bring back the hostages. Here on the right, it is a column of uh, well, doctors that are warning that most of the hostages will not survive the winter. The doctors are warning from starvation, hyperthermia, and other infectious diseases um, and Herzog, the president of Israel, saying there, is, there are some negotiations behind the scenes that not everyone sees. We are waiting for the day to see the hostages back here, back at home. The next headline, more about the hostages. Uh, this is Maya and Itai that were released. They're in their early 20s, uh, brother and sister, released after 50 days. Um, in, in the captivity in Gaza, and they're saying, Halevai shanashim yavinu shari. We really wish that people will understand it is possible that these are lives that we can save, speaking about the hostages remained in Gaza. Maya was severely injured in her leg. She came back uh, limping. She had to go through operation. Four days later, Itai, her brother, came back, and uh, they're just very grateful that they can go through their rehabilitation here in Israel, but they're saying nothing will be the same until all of the hostages come back. In Omer Shem Tov, uh, one of the hostages still there is one of their best friends and they're speaking about him all the time. And if they say every time we're around the dinner table, we're saying, how is it that Omer is still not with us? And last article, some optimism, it reads, Optimiut, optimism, Bamelonot Atzafon, in the northern hotels, Ne'erachim Lepticha Mechadash, preparing for opening again. Around 90, um, 90 hotels were closed off during the, during the months of the war. And following the ceasefire, many of them are preparing uh, to open up again. One of the hotels, David's Harp from Fal Nahum is quoted here. They're saying, we are bringing back all of our workers that were off on an unpaid vacation. Another hotel in Kibbutz Ortal is saying, we are very excited we will grow also from this crisis. And we see um, beautiful pictures of the hotels. This is in Marom Golan, and this is David's Harp, right near the Galilee, uh, the Sea of Galilee. And here's Malon HaGoshrim, and they have the dates of when they're reopening, because the whole north was shut down because of the war. 
So despite the huge financial damage that it, uh, is written about, like 60 million shekels for one of these hotels, despite this, we are really hoping to see the North come alive and recover. And if you haven't been to Israel, if you want to come, this is a good time to come. The weather is great. It is beautiful. We're between wars. We're in a ceasefire. This is a good time. It's the window of opportunity. So please come. You're welcome. For more stories and for more news that matters from Israel, follow us on allisrael.com. If you like this video, if you've enjoyed it, please share this with your friends and like it. I am Rotem again for All Israel News.